Good morning, Cypress Village residents. This is Ty Morgan, Executive Director here at Cypress Village. Thank you for tuning in to today's virtual coffee chat. Today is Friday, July 8th, and I'm glad everybody is here with us here today. As always, we've got a lot of information we like to share with our residents to keep everybody up to speed as to what's going on throughout the village and make sure everybody knows uh, what they can do and who they can reach out to as well. Good morning, villagers. Lisa, your Director of Community Life Services here. Another Friday is upon us, July. I want to thank everybody who came out Monday for the golf cart parade. It was wonderful. The carts were great. The people were great. It was a fun, fun time. We had 21 vehicles, and that includes the convertible uh, red Mercedes. Um, there was, it was not a contest. The day was just about fun. So some of you had asked me who won the contest, um, but the, we're, we're all winners. It was a great day. So thank you all, and we'll do it again next year. So I also wanted to talk to you about signups. We had so many signups this month. More signups in two days than we've had since I started here. So it took us a little while to get through them, but you should have all gotten your um, confirmation papers yesterday. Um, we do our best to give everybody what they want. Um, so if you got on a wait list though, don't, um, don't worry. Sometimes the wait list actually turns into the confirmed list. Um, so that's a really good thing. I'm so happy that you're finding things that you want to do. So let's talk about the coming week. Um, Monday, we have Bar Bingo with Thomas. Um, and that is at 3.30 in Egret Hall. Just come on down, bring your money. It's $5 for a lot of fun. Then on Tuesday, we're going to Cumberland Island. I know a lot of you are excited about that. That's going to be a lot of fun. Laurel and her husband are going to be going and they'll be joining you. And um, Thomas will be serving you lunch at Coast. So then on Wednesday, we've got the beach walk. Um, and if anybody wants to, after breakfast, we can go by and have a look at the newly reopened Jacksonville Pier. Um, they're opening it up to pedestrians only for the next two weeks. Um, so that might be something fun to do if you want to. And then on Thursday, we have Marsha Green talking to you about the joys of kayaking. Uh, a lot of you have asked Marsha about her kayak and about kayaking, and she would love to share that with you. So come on down to Egret Hall. It does say sign up on the calendar, but just come on down if you want to learn about kayaking and, um, and we'll put that together for you if you want to take a kayaking trip. So then on Friday, we have, um, oh wait, sorry, on Thursday, we have a dinner bunch to Seasons 52 in St. John's Town Center. And then on Friday, we have um, Robbie Trice Live in Egret Hall at seven o'clock. And then on Saturday, we have um, Jean Nordan in Egret Hall at seven o'clock. So thank you very much for all your participation, all your suggestions and feedback, and I'll see you around campus. Hey, good morning, everybody. Happy coffee chat. Dave from the maintenance department, give you a couple updates. First off, the well on the east, we still haven't got the pump out of it yet. They're working on it. We should have a huge crane here this coming week. I'm not sure what the date is, but as soon as I get it, I will let you know. Uh, elevators, the D elevator as of yesterday, uh, had a pump go bad for the hydraulics. It's been ordered. We're hoping it comes in today or Monday at the latest. That's the right side if you're looking at it. On the C elevator, we are still two to three weeks out before the left side gets completed. Uh, don't, got some bad information last time, so I apologize for that. Uh, but yeah, we're two, three weeks out before that one will be completed and done, uh, inspected by the state. Um, raccoons in the A parking lot, 
We had a new company come in yesterday, setting up different kinds of traps. I have an ultrasonic device coming in next week that I ordered with the head of my maintenance committee. And we're gonna try that out there to see if we can keep them away with that working. Um, with that being the case though, I need to know if it's affecting your dogs in any way because I'm not 100% sure, or, or cats, that that won't hurt their ears or give them a problem. So if that is an issue, please let us know right away. Uh, that's supposed to come in on the 11th, which I believe is Monday. Um, we'll probably deploy it on Tuesday. So if anything happens with your dogs or cats next Tuesday, Wednesday, please let us know right away. Uh, that's all I got this week. Have a great weekend. Thank you. Good morning, everyone, and welcome to Coffee Chat. Once again, my name is Lester Ruiz, the director of Environmental Services. I'm not going to say the new director because, no, I'm not a rookie anymore. Um, I just want to give everybody a couple of updates on what we're doing as far as the deep cleaning and all that stuff about uh, throughout the building. Um, I know I asked as a favor if we could suspend the housekeeping in apartments for a week so that we could focus that week in common areas and there's been a lot of questions on that and I wanted to clarify that. Uh, the reason I wanna, I'm asking for that week is so that I can get every personnel that normally cleans apartments and use that, those bodies to be able to clean the common areas such as hallways, sh uh, shampooing hallways. We're gonna be uh, cleaning the wood floors. We're gonna be deep cleaning all common areas, elevators, floors, uh, the resident doorways, which I've noticed that when they're shampooing the carpets in the hallways, we're going in a straight line and we're missing right in front of your door. I wanna focus on that as well that week. Um, we're also going to be working on infection control um, prevention. Because through walking throughout the building, I'm seeing a lot of opportunities and a lot of areas that are being missed. And before we go back to the weekly services, I want to blast through the entire building and give you all a fresh clean on every area that we've put eyes on. Uh, following that week, we will be going back to weekly services. Uh, I know I asked a lot of you, a lot from you for that week that I'm asking for. So in return, I want to give you guys the weekly services back. Uh, we're working on getting personnel in here. We're almost fully staffed. We're just waiting on backgrounds and all that good stuff to, um, to get these people started in my department. And with that being said, we'll have plenty of people to make sure that not just the common areas, but also your apartments are being taken care of how they should. During community meeting, we're going to give, be giving you more details on this as far as dates and times. Um, and we're going to, because we're going to, there's going to be a schedule throughout the entire week, day by day area and the areas that we're going to be working on. Um, I'm just holding back a little bit to make sure I have all the tools and all the machines that I need working. So that way that week is very productive. Following the community meeting, we'll be sending out a letter again with more details in black and white so that you all can get that information correctly and know exactly what we're working on. Thank you very much. Have a great Friday, a good weekend, and see you all next week. Hi, good morning everybody. It's me, Susan, here once again on Coffee Chat. Just have a few updates for um, everybody. Uh, we have the Parkinson Support Group that will take place next Tuesday at 3 o'clock on the assisted living theater room on the sixth floor. And it's open to everybody, not just assisted living. So uh, anybody independent living that would like to take part, come on up and join the group. Also for this week for Guardian Pharmacy, the cycle pickup this Wednesday will be for Tower B as in boy. So if you are with Guardian Pharmacy and you're in Tower B, come and pick up your medications. And also remember that Guardian Pharmacy has some over-the-counter medications if you're needing them, as well as the rapid test for COVID. And also, just a quick reminder, if you are coming to the wellness to be tested for COVID on Monday, Wednesday, or Friday with our lab, please, please, please wear a mask. I'm getting a lot of complaints from people that are saying that they're testing positive and they don't have a mask on. 
And so it's just a simple courtesy to please wear that. Also, the Wellness Center orientation will be taking place Thursday uh, at 10 o'clock. So if you would like to know about all of our outside providers for the Wellness Center, as well as meeting the team in our dental office and upstairs and our telehealth team, come on down on Thursday at 10 o'clock and Chrissy will fill you in on all of those things. And also Sally from our American Telehealth Physicians, uh, she's still um, heading up our remote patient monitoring for blood pressure. So if you have any questions, Sally will be in the Wellness Center every Wednesday from nine until noon to answer any of your questions and also to get you signed up if you're interested. And now I just want to kind of give you a little safety tip. We are in the midst of summertime, which means we are having a lot of summer afternoon thunderstorms. And for your safety, please remember that even though you hear thunder, that um, in a distance, that lightning strike can still come and get you from 20 miles away. So some little safety tips for you on these afternoon thunderstorms. Don't ignore if you hear lightning. A lot of people wait until it starts pouring down rain to head in, indoors. The minute you hear that thunder, please head inside because you can still get by, hit by lightning even though it's many miles away. And the best thing to do is to be inside, not standing by a tree, not by any metal object, not holding a golf club or a fishing pole. You need to be inside. And standing in an open field away from objects as well can be just as dangerous. So the best plan of action is to take shelter in your car or in a building. And so um, just remember, keep that in mind. I want everybody to stay safe here and just keep yourself safe during these summertime hours because we're heading into those dog days of summer. All right, villagers, stay safe and I'll see you around. I cannot. Good afternoon. This is Marcus um, from security. I just wanted to touch base on a few things with everybody. Um, first and foremost, uh, we have two new pendants for the homes residents in the fitness center located inside the building. Um, the reason we placed those pendants there was because the homes residents pendants do not work as far as inside the building. It's just delegated to their home. So this gives them access in case of an emergency um, while they're in the fitness center. It was highly recommended. Uh, we love the idea. The only thing I ask is can we please try not to take dependents out of the room with you. Um, they're pretty much delegated for that area. Um, if there's any issues, please reach out to me or contact me and I'll be happy to explain to you in more detail. Um, the next thing is on July 19th, I'm doing a seminar for fraud prevention in Egret Hall. Um, you should be able to, to see all that information. Um, basically, I'm looking for it to be anywhere from 40, to a minute, 40 minutes to an hour. Um, I believe it's going to be a lot of helpful information for people if they run into incidents where they've lost money, somebody's taking money from them. Hopefully this will help prevent that from happening and I'll also give steps on what to do if it does happen. Uh, nobody is um, immune um, to fraud, even myself. Uh, I'm not scared to say this. It was here recently. I've had money taken from me. So I've even learned um, through new steps that uh, it is possible for anyone, um, whether it's using your cards at a gas pump, uh, at a gas station, giving people the wrong information. You just have to be careful in today's day and age. So hopefully that information will help a lot of you. Um, I hope you have a great morning and um, see you around the village. All right, I'm back. I hope everybody is enjoying today's episode and it is full of updates and information that is very useful to our residents. I just have a couple quick points that I wanted to touch base on before we get into happy birthdays and conclude today's episode. The first of which are personnel updates. We have a pretty big update that uh, we feel is very important to our success moving forward, which pertains to the dining services department. Our dining director, Mr. Ben Gaudio, is decided to follow his passion, and that is the food. He has elected to step into the executive chef position, which was vacant. He was 
covering both director of dining and executive chef, as most of you know. So Ben is going to be effective immediately, the executive chef. We will fill some of the holes of his dining director role with uh, Jen Ames, as well as other uh, managers throughout the community. So be a little patient with us there. And we will start the recruiting efforts immediately for director of dining services for Cypress Village. The second of which is in assisted living and memory care. Our assisted living director, Victory Sloan, who has been with us uh, for years in multiple roles, she is going to be taking some time to really nurture her family and take some time for herself. She has a new addition uh, coming here in the coming months. So we wish Victory all the best and we are gonna miss Victory very, very much. She's done a lot of great things and been very committed to our residents and our families uh, throughout her tenure here and we wish her all the best. Her successor is gonna be Tammy Faust who is already on board. She's in her, I wanna say going into her second week. Um, so she's getting her feet wet. She's basically drinking water through a fire hose right now, so please be patient with her. Give her a couple weeks to at least get settled in and get you know, her feet wet. But uh, we're looking forward to Tammy. She's got a lot of extensive experience here in the Jacksonville area, as well as in this particular role. So we're excited about that. And also our memory care director, who is also with us probably going on her first month, if I'm being redundant, I just want to at least acknowledge her one more time. And her name is Karen Coleman. And she used to be with us here years ago and she couldn't stand it, had to come back, uh, missed us so much. But we're very grateful to have her and she will do some great things in memory care for us as well. Next, I just wanted to touch on last Friday, right after coffee chat, which we had Cypress Village unfiltered. We had a tremendously large crowd, which was uh, extremely, I think, positive in nature. P residents wanted to come out and voice their opinions, you know, ascertain some things going on, uh, ask questions, and myself and others were available to, uh, to take those questions and concerns. And overall, we've gotten very, very good feedback uh, from the session itself. We did elect uh, yesterday, I think it was yesterday, to not do that on a weekly basis. Uh, that would be a little too much overkill. However, we are gonna keep it going, but we're gonna do it on a monthly basis, and it's going to be the first Friday of every month, right after Coffee Chat. Very similar um, setup, very similar session. And we had selected that particular date because the following Tuesday is going to be community meeting. So any information that we take or that is hot on residents' minds, uh, topics, uh, ideas, thoughts, we can gather them all that Friday and then potentially respond to some of those at uh, community meeting. So again, thank you all for attending and thanks for the comments. As you had heard previously uh, throughout Coffee Chat earlier, there were several things that we were able to address very quickly. So um, thank you all again for that. Last but not least, uh, community meeting is Tuesday at 10 a.m. in Egret Hall. We'd love to see as many residents as we possibly can. So if you can join us, great. If not, we do live simulcast the meeting. So you can watch it in your living room or in your house or apartment. Uh, but again, next Tuesday at 10 a.m., Please tune in and uh, join the meeting or view the meeting, either or. Um, COVID-19 update, just real briefly, you know, unfortunately the cases are continuing to continue to rise. They're in the lower 20 percentiles throughout uh, Jacksonville and Duval County. We're gonna continue to monitor, you know, the um, confirmed cases. We do have uh, a few cases here on site now. Um, I don't have the statistics here for today's coffee chat. Um, actually, I do. Katie just provided those to me. We have five staff members that are currently out uh, and quarantining. We have two independent living residents and one healthcare center resident. As far as I know, everybody's doing okay. Um, moderate to mild symptoms. So we're wishing all of those residents and employees the quickest recovery possible. 
And with that, we're going to wrap it up with birthday wishes out there to our residents. And we do have one birthday gal out there, and that's Miss Claire Samina. Claire, happy birthday to you. On the 9th, we've got one gentleman out there, and I do mean gentleman. That's Mr. P Paul Horvath. Paul, happy birthday to you tomorrow. Our dining committee uh, chairman, Mr. Mark Waters, is on the 10th. Happy birthday, Mark. Um, on the 12th, we've got two gals. We've got Miss, I'm sorry, on the 11th, we've only got one, and that's Miss Eleanor Irwin. Miss Irwin, happy birthday to you. And on the 12th, we've got two gals. We've got Miss Margaret Kruger and Rhea Fleckstein, Fleckenstein. Happy birthday to you, ladies. On the 13th, we've got several. We've got Ed Rogers, Edie Barrett, Carmen Von Susten, and Robert Rhodes. Happy birthday to you four on the 14th. I'm sorry, on the 13th. And on the 14th, we've got, I think, five. We've got my buddy, Mr. David Alexander, Mr. Rund, Matthew Rund, Bev Stow Stowall, Ernie Mister, a new resident. Ernie, happy birthday, or Ernest. And Miss Judy Emmett. Judy, happy birthday to you as well on the 14th. So we've got uh, five birthday residents out there on the 14th. Wishing you all the best. And residents, that is going to conclude today's episode. Thank you for tuning in as always. Have a great Friday and a good weekend. And God bless to all of you. Thanks for tuning in.